Out of the blue, Nick's girlfriend texted him and said the words that he had been dreading for the past month. She told him that she just didn't feel the same anymore and that she wanted to break up with him. Obviously, Nick's soul was crushed and in an instant, tears began running down his face. He didn't know what to do or what to say. Every ounce of him wanted to text her back saying that he was sorry, that he'd be a better man and that he desperately did not want to break up. The good news is Nick knew that this moment was coming. He just subscribed to my YouTube channel a few days ago and began watching some of the topics that I cover. He knew that begging, pleading, and theatrics would not help him get his ex back, nor would talking through it and annoying her. He also knew about my dynamic no contact rule and he began the process of rebuilding himself. Now, because he followed my channel, he knew all of that stuff. So he was well equipped in handling the first few steps of his breakup. However, he wanted her back more than anything. And he spent sleepless nights wondering how he could get her back into his arms, how he could just make her see that he was worth a second chance. And that's when Nick decided to take the plunge and signed up for my email coaching service. And from there, I was able to design a plan from the ground up that ensured Nick had the best possible chance of getting back his ex-girlfriend. Now we talked about their relationship in depth and I asked him important questions that helped me lay out the blueprint for getting her back into Nick's life. I asked him when their relationship started, what she loved about him, what she didn't love, how he acted throughout the relationship, and what might have been the hot button issues that plagued their dating life. And then I outlined a plan that would help Nick text his ex back, so to speak. But before that could happen, we needed to dive deep into some of the root causes of the breakup. Now ultimately, Nick's girlfriend lost emotional attraction to him. He failed to keep that magnetism alive in their relationship. And this happens all the time to men and women alike and it's one of the core reasons why relationships fail. And I can guarantee you in one way or another, this is one of the core reasons that you're here right now. You're here because you, like Nick, just broke up with your ex. And it might have been for a number of different reasons, but fundamentally, you probably exhibited enough negative behaviors that forced your ex to lose that emotional connection to you. And in order for you to regain that attraction, you need to learn how to rebuild that bond with your partner and, and ensure that it doesn't happen again. So for about two and a half weeks, Nick began using the techniques that we talked about over email. And one of the most crucial components of this plan were the text messages that I taught to him. These text messages were designed specifically with Nick in mind. I was able to craft you know, some well thought out messages that were focused on eliciting an emotional response from his ex. And from there, I used several more text messages and strategies that I teach about in my program, The X Factor. And after a few weeks of corresponding with Nick, you're not gonna believe what happened. Now, Nick's girlfriend came crawling back, literally on her hands and knees. I'll cover the specifics of this later on. So what are these text messages that I speak of? In fact, why use texting at all? Well, in my opinion, texting is one of the most powerful ways to get an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend back. And as opposed to, to calling your ex, texting, texting him or her is a lot more subtle and less desperate. It allows them to answer you back on their terms, and it also allows you to, to formulate a decent response in return as well. It's simply one of the very best ways to build attraction, rapport, and trust with your ex again. But here's the catch. You can't simply text them any old message. And like I said earlier, you can't send text messages that ooze with desperation. Texts like, I need you to come back to me, or one of my most hated ones, I don't think I can find anyone else like you. Those are only gonna further push your ex away from you. You can't simply you know, command your ex to come back to you either. If you're gonna make your ex you know, come back to you like Nick's, Nick did, then you're gonna have to attract your ex back. And for that, you need to use some subtle psychology to make that a reality. So before I get into the hard examples, we have to lay out some of the ground rules first. Rule number one, do not text your ex if you're feeling needy or desperate for them. So if you're texting your ex when you're clearly not in the proper you know, mental state, you're bound to make mistakes. I've seen this happen hundreds of times and in almost every single instance, it fails. So in order for you to attract your ex back into your life, like Nick did, you're gonna have to text your ex from a position of confidence and you need to, to detach yourself from the outcome. You know, as long as you're, you're fearful and insecure, you will not have what it takes to attract him or her back into your life and you're bound to make mistakes. So that's part of the reason why I advocate 30 days of dynamic no contact before you even think about texting your ex. And by doing this, you get rid of a lot of the neediness and desperation that you might be experiencing right now and you'll be able to build yourself back up. Rule number two, know the main reasons why you're texting your ex. Remember, you're trying to make your ex look forward to your texts. So in other words, you need to make them crave your text. Now you can do this using a number of methods that I'll talk about in this video, but for example, you know, you can try associating texting uh, you with something exciting, or you could just ask them a really juicy question. 
Regardless of whatever tactic you use, your whole goal right now is to make them comfortable and excited to text you back. Ultimately, the main reason to text your ex is to ultimately set up an in-person meet. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to concoct a good reason for your ex to want to meet up with you again. Again, more on this a little bit later. Rule number three, avoid the negativity. So here are some examples of negative texts that will ensure your ex never wants to see you again. You're a horrible human being. I'm glad you're out of my life. If you don't answer my texts, I'll do blank. I hate you. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is gonna to wanna to hang out with a person that texts things like that. So instead, do your best to avoid all the negative emotions that's been bottling up inside you. And definitely avoid expressing those emotions to your ex. If you're gonna to wanna to make your, your ex text you back, then you need to be positive and upbeat. And again, I'll explain some, using some examples a little bit later in this video. For now, let's go to rule number four. Keep in mind how often you text your ex. So do not text your ex back as soon as they send you something. You know, this, this reeks of desperation. Remember, you're trying to absolutely destroy the notion that you're heartbroken and saddened by the breakup without being too obvious. So if you're texting your ex back too soon or too often, you're gonna give off the impression that you're just not over the breakup and that you want him or her back. So you need to start slow and over time, increase the frequency of your texts just by a little bit. You know, you'll wanna to escalate your interaction to the point that your ex will be comfortable with a, a phone call or an in-person meetup. Only then will you be able to, to do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to attracting your ex back into your life. Rule number five, be funny. You're gonna to wanna to add some serious value into your ex's life if you're gonna convince them to keep talking to you. And being funny and just you know, using humor is one of the best ways to do this. So one of the easiest ways to use this is just to you know, send animated GIFs or YouTube videos. Um, almost all chat apps have the ability to just quickly send you know, a funny GIF here and there. But of course, you can also take it to the next level and send them something you know, in reference to an experience that you two shared together. You know, it could have been a funny TV show or movie that you both watched together, or just a, you know, a funny moment that you shared together. Use your, your creativity here. Rule number six, don't talk about the problems that plagued your relationship. Now, I know you probably desperately wanna bring up what went wrong in your relationship. And sometimes, to be fair, you do need to talk about the problems that were present. But if your ex doesn't bring it up, then you shouldn't, at least not yet. Now, I told Nick during our correspondence that he shouldn't bring up the fact that he didn't try hard enough during the relationship. Bringing that up would only put his ex on the defensive, and over text messages, you know, she'll likely not respond positively. Thankfully, he followed this advice and he, he kept using some of the, the texting templates that I share in my X Factor program. And up until that point, they were working like a charm. So like Nick, you probably feel regretful over some of the things that you've said or done in your relationship. And just like Nick, you probably feel like those issues had to be addressed at some point, but over text is not the right time to do it. Save those, those serious discussions for later on. So now that we've laid out some of the ground rules going in, and now that you're well aware about you know, dynamic no contact, uh, let's go over some of the kinds of text messages that you should be sending your ex if you want them to come back to you. So the first kind of text that you need to be sending to your ex are gonna be the designed to, to simply break the ice. You, know, you aren't trying to, to build attraction right now. Your only goal at this point is to simply let your ex know that you're alive by sending a really non-invasive text message. Now, the first one I'll cover is what I call the cooking text. So for example, you could say something like, hey, how goes, hope you're doing well. I forgot how many eggs we put in our carbonara sauce. Was it two or three? I've really been craving it lately. Now, the reason why this is such a good text is because it's casual, lighthearted, and it isn't desperate or threatening. All it's designed to do is get a conversation going, uh, something that everyone can relate to in one way or another, cooking. So if you have been playing your cards right, your ex should have replied with something like, oh, I think it was three, and it's going well, how are you? So from here, do not reply to that message right away. In fact, wait at least a couple of hours before you send any kind of reply at all. You want to, again, create the image that you're not needy, that you've moved on, and that you're busy doing other things in life. Also, I recommend you only send a maximum of one more text that day, and make sure that you're ending the conversation conclusively for now. So that means, you know, you can say something like, oh, thanks, I totally forgot for some reason. Now, saying something like this is great because it doesn't compel your ex to reply, so it's extremely low pressure. For now, getting a reply is just really all you're looking for. If you're struggling to find other good ideas to break the ice, here's another example along the same lines. Uh, but this time it's fitness related. Hey, do you remember that exercise you taught me at the gym that killed my glutes? Can you remind me of that? Hope you're doing well. Now again, this is similar to the example that I just sent to Nick, um, and surely enough, it did work like a charm for him. Now, the process from here is gonna depend a lot on how your ex reacts. If your ex reacts warmly, then you can continue the process of texting your ex in the same manner. Right now, that means every other day, you know, you reach out and you find another good reason to text your ex. 
And throughout this texting phase, you're going to want to drop some signs of high value. So you have to make these hints subtle and you have to weave them in naturally into the conversation. So in Nick's case, uh, one of the issues that plagued his relationship was his laziness. You know, he wasn't motivated at work and as a result, he was depressed and he wasn't eating well. And of course, he obviously gained a little bit of weight as a result. So he was on a bit of a downward spiral and we identified that this was one of the main reasons that his ex lost attraction to him. He really needed to communicate that his life was back on track and he needed to, to weave it into his conversation naturally. So here's the text that we came up with. Sorry, I gotta get going here as I'm late for my spin class. Haha, <laughs> yes, I know. I'd love to ask you about your new cat a little bit later on. Now, this was a great way to communicate to his ex that he was now putting in the effort to change his life. And he didn't do it to prove a point, and he didn't even sort of, he even sort of made fun of himself for it, which is very non-threatening. And as a result, Nick's ex replied with, Wow, spin class. I'm so proud of you for making that step. That's huge. And yes, that cat, the cat has been amazing. I love her. Now this is just one of the many text messages that Nick and I crafted together through my online coaching program. If you're interested in enrolling in this program um, and experiencing the same kind of success that Nick had, um, yes, spoiler alert, Nick does get back together with his ex, uh, please head to breakupbrad.com slash coaching. On that page, you'll learn everything you need to know about how to enroll and how it all works. And by the way, it is way less expensive than you might think. So just head over to breakupbrad.com slash coaching and find out about the program for yourself and you can sign up right now if I have any spots available. So throughout the next few days, you're going to want to begin ramping up some of the emotion in your text messages, but only if, if your ex is being super receptive to it. So at this point, you could start using texts like my emotional hot button text. So to better explain this one, let's jump right into another example. Uh, you could say something like, hey, I just finished that Breaking Bad episode you told me about. You know, the one where they kill that fly in the lab? Reminded me of you big time when you killed that fly in our condo. Now, that sounds kind of cheesy, I know, but the goal here is to recount an awesome memory that you shared with your ex, but you need to have a good reason to bring it up. So in this case, Breaking Bad, the TV show, was the reason that you're bringing up that moment. And if you do this correctly, your ex is gonna feel kind of an overwhelming burst of emotions, and they're gonna start to miss you more and more. Again, you can't overdo this text message, but these are the kinds of nostalgic messages that will get your ex in the right mood. And if you keep at it, it's only gonna be a matter of time before they're clamoring to hang out with you again. Um, here's another example of a great emotional hot button text message. You could say something like, Hey, I'm taking my friend out to that amazing Greek fusion restaurant we went to last year. Do you remember the name of it? I can't find it on Google. Did it close? Now, this one is great for a number of reasons. Again, it's also bringing up a memory of your past. Um, in this case, the time you went to that Greek fusion restaurant together. And it also uses, you know, a bit of mystery and jealousy as well. At this point, your ex is going to be wondering, you know, who are you taking to this restaurant? Is it a, is it a date? Why are you being so vague? And why are you taking them out to such a nice restaurant? Now, I realize this might seem like a bit of manipulation on your part, uh, but trust me when I say that this kind of emotional hot button stuff works like a charm. Again, you want to make it seem like your life is back on track, that you're attractive, that people want to hang out with you, and that you've generally moved on from the breakup. Now, if you want more texting tips, then you have to check out the free video on my website, breakupbrad.com. So head on over there after this video if you want to learn how you can effectively text your ex back. Now, eventually, you're, you're going to want to set up a potential hangout with your ex. Now, this should happen at least a week after you've been texting your ex. And it should only happen if your ex has been receptive to your attempts at conversation. In the event that they're not receptive, don't panic. Um, the correct move if your ex is acting cold is to continue no contact again for a period of at least 7 to 10 days, um, depending on the situation, and then re-engage at a later date. However, if your ex is receptive to you, um, then you're going to want to set up a hangout at some point. And the key here is to, again, make it seem like this hangout is just for fun. It's going to be positive, upbeat, and you're not going to hint at the fact that you want to talk about your relationship or anything serious like that. You're also going to want to have a good reason to hang out with your ex. It can't be because you miss them desperately, even though you might. Um, so if you feel like you're ready to hang out with your ex again, you could use my, my travel text message. You could say something like, Hey, I'm planning a trip to Malaysia next summer. I know you're, you're a Malaysia expert. Any chance we could grab a coffee so I can pick your brain about it? Obviously, you know, you're going to have to tailor this message to your situation, um, but it could also be about anything. You know, you could also say something like, Hey, I'm going to redesign my kitchen next month. Could I get some advice on which cabinets to pick? I know you always had the, an eye for design and I'm just awful at it. Can I pick your brain over a coffee? Now, something like this is super effective because, again, you're not reeking of desperation and you have a very good reason as to why you're asking to hang out. Now, if you have played your hand correctly up until this point, your ex should agree to hang out with you. In fact, if you use the material that I teach in my X Factor program, um, they should be dying to hang out with you at this point. 
But in the event that your, your ex isn't just ready to see you yet, um, then you should always remember not to panic and not to get upset. There's always a myriad of reasons why someone wouldn't want to see their ex. You know, they could still be upset at you, or maybe they're just, you know, being overly emotional and they don't want to relive the recent past yet. Either way, the way you handle this situation is simple. Engage in dynamic no contact again for at least a period of 10 more days. And from there, you can reassess the situation. Again, if you need help getting your ex back and you don't know where to start, you've got two options. Either sign up for my personal coaching program or sign up for my online course at The X Factor. If you're interested in, in getting personalized advice, custom tailored to your specific situation, then please consider my coaching program. The URL for that is breakupbread.com slash coaching. And of course, I'll have a link to that in the description below. And if you want to learn more and sign up for my online course, The X Factor, then just head over to breakupbread.com slash buy. Now, these two programs have helped thousands and tens of thousands, in fact, of people rekindle the attraction and love with their ex. And I not only teach you how to get your ex back, but also how to keep your ex uh, so that you never have to experience that kind of heartache ever again. So please consider signing up if you're in this kind of situation. Now, the final ending to Nick's story. Well, after they set up a coffee and a walk together, Nick's ex did come back to him. She admitted that she missed him and that the text messages he'd sent her made her think about all the moments that they shared together and that she just couldn't let those moments go. Of course, I congratulated Nick, I was happy for him, but I also outlined a concrete plan to make sure that this was the last breakup that they'd ever have to endure. So far, as far as I know, things between Nick and his ex has, have never been better. Um, and it is happy endings like that that make me love what I do for a living. So congratulations, Nick, and thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, you guys know what to do, drop them in the comments section below and I will do my best to get back to you. I'll chat with you guys soon, good luck out there.